So <clears throat> we do take started dogs back in that we train for advanced retrieving work. And also we take dogs that complete our basic retrieving program and go through advanced retrieving work with them. When we do the advanced retrieving work, we go over whistle commands, sitting, heel into the whistle. Towards the end of the training, we usually put in a hunt whistle. The biggest thing with doing this work with your dog is gonna be that the dog keeps a very, very good firm program when he goes home and comes back in still doing his work pretty smooth. If the dog comes in, <coughs> his obedience is very slack and um, he's marking territory bad or the dog's lazy because somebody hadn't kept up the work and not wanting to cooperate, it's very, very hard for us to move that dog forward and get that dog understanding at 50, 60, 80 yards when we blow the whistle, you have to stop and change directions. If they come in and at your left leg, they're being very disobedient, it makes it even harder for us to do the job of finishing the dog out. When dogs come in, they're still tight with their obedience, they're still steady, they're still marking well, and they're still running their drills well, <clears throat> then they're strong on going out on back. It makes it easier for us to walk these dogs through and complete this program. It usually takes us four to six months to go through and teach sit and heal with the whistle. Then we start walking them through, casting drills to cast them back to the dummy and teach them forward. And then we put our left and rights in and we start applying all this into the retrieves themselves instead of walking the dogs through it. It takes a little while. This usually requires anywhere from four to five sessions with the owners. Once we get the dogs moving forward about to the third uh, month mark, we start getting the owners in and we start catching the owners up with the handler as far, as far as running the drills that the dog's running. But this all is usually done without force fetch work. So it's competition and routine, <clears throat> uh, repetition, repetition and routine of going over and building the dog's confidence up so that he understands what he needs to do with the handler in order to be successful and get the correct dummy.